I'm Megan Diana. I'm a current Prairie Rond resident artist. I have done a few of these before and I have a few pieces that I've already, you know, I'm, I'm coming here with, but I have a couple songs where I'm like, oh, I just need to put some French horn on these songs. You know, that's gonna kind of, that's easing me into this other space of, okay, the big scary idea of there's, there's nothing started on a song, what's gonna come. I've had a couple residencies where, you know, the, the express goal was to like, I wanna, I wanna go to your beautiful spot in Michigan or um, it, I, was, I was in Italy or Arizona, all these different places, and I wanna learn about that environment and I wanna see who I am there and I wanna see what I feel like or see what I feel, I, you know, and try and put those, that information into a song. So I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna write about, but I'm due diligence of this week of just walking around and reading and listening and seeing things that I like and respond to and in May is when I'll start to dig in and start to write some songs about Vicksburg and the mill. For me, it's very invigorating and I want, I want to learn. I want to learn what is life like in a town I don't usually live in that's very different from, from Portland. I actually um, was an army brat, so I think it, it makes a lot of sense when you think about it, because I did move around a lot as a kid and, and being in, in new places, even for you know, a week or a weekend or... There's also something different about the pace of being in a new place for five weeks and I kind of have this home and I have to settle in and really kind of for a moment feel what it's like to live here and try and soak up, you know, what the, what the flavor is, is here. Or, you know, what, what's the pace? What, what are people like? I, and I want to learn. I want to meet them. My eternal journey through songwriting has always been like what, what I'm is discovering more with every song who I am, which is a very multi-layered person as every human is, but especially as a woman in this world, as an artist who's been independent and solo in many parts of her, her life for, for a long time. What does that mean? I'm just always unpacking the layers. As, as they also, you know, over time, just they keep building through, you know, the living life, the longer I, I go on. <laughs> you also start to think about, how can I tell more of the story of what my music sounds like visually? What do I look like on stage? What are my visuals? And how do I make every part of telling the story of my sound and my songs artful? You know, this is the part of the evolution of the longer you, I have been a songwriter. I feel like after a solid decade of truly writing my songs, arranging them, all that stuff, and, and, and evolving as a person who has learned how to, you know, really be in a recording studio and get what I want out of it, I feel like I finally am hitting this, my stride on what my sound is and what, again, all those other elements that I was talking about, like, you learn, oh, what does Megan Diana really sound like if she's not in the choir or she's not singing with this jazz group and she's not doing the, that other gig where you're supposed to kind of sound like somebody else. You know, my music is, is where I'm discovering myself and, and my voice, literally, figuratively, all the time. I feel like the arts are like the heartbeat <laughs> of a community because it, again, yes, it does bring everybody together, but it makes them feel things. It can be kind of like, sometimes it's weird. I think anything that takes you out of your everyday little routine of I'm, I'm going to work, I'm doing my, doing, doing the things that just, you know, I'm, I'm on the program. I think the arts make us stop and take a moment to appreciate beauty, to connect with somebody else, to make us think for a second about just something in their life. It just, it, it makes them be human. We came here last night and there was a music show and I could see that the musician on stage was just kind of blown away with how many people came to 
support her. And I love watching an audience witness something as a performer too, when I see people look at each other, you know, the performer, the, the musician is saying something about like, oh, this is a love song, or this is a song about a breakup, or this is a song about being a bad mother. You know, when she said that, like the three ladies next to me were like, yeah, that's, you, you know, like when I see people's reacting and, and connecting with somebody making art in front of them, it's like this reflection back. For, for people that don't know how to, to get up on stage and sing a song about a tough part of their life, it makes everybody feel more seen to know that everybody else is going through tough times and good times and makes people feel alive. That's why. Love is Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.